this is my next electric conversion project. Um, my good mate Joel was kind enough to find me this. Someone gave it away as Herdside Collection, which is great for me. Um, the motor's blown, it was electrical faults, mechanical faults, all that kind of stuff, just not worth working out. But the body and you know, the plastics, the chassis, everything's all in great nick. Just got the blown motor, which I should have taken the video off removing, but I didn't. There it is, all the motor and gearbox removed. I will find a home for that, someone that wants it. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of useful parts on it, like the starter motor and stuff like that, but yeah, I can't be bothered with it. So, it's in great condition. Really pleased with this. You know, no tears in the seat or anything like that. It's in really good nick. Um, it's all here. I've already removed the headlights from it, but um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So, uh, going to be mounting the electric motor in here. Uh, this, <coughs> this is the electric motor that's going to go in there. It's a 3000 watt motor, and I'm going to be running about four and a half to 5000 watts, uh, 48 volt motor. I've got a custom made lithium battery for it, which I'll show you a video of the test run starting this up. It's all electronically complete. It's just got to be full housing here with a few housing challenges and, and gear ratio challenges to, to beat. The motor is going to sit just in here like that. The chain uh, and obviously a gear ratio issue to solve. So, but yes, yeah, so I'm very pleased with that. So, the, um, take that off. There we go. <coughs> the rear sprocket is just way too small. So, because the original petrol motor had, you know, quite a slow output RPM, uh, the gearbox only a few hundred RPM, uh, that's way too small because the electric motor does about four and a half thousand RPM. So I'm going to have to get a custom made one of them, um, looking at about 75, 80 teeth, which is going to be about yay big, come up to about there on the wheel. It's not optimal, but other option is a jack shaft, which is quite a lot of ginning around. I'm just happy to go for the lazy option of a bigger sprocket um, and get that put on there and cost all the jack shaft stuff plus you know, all the cost of getting the sprocket custom made. Much of a muchness, so I'm just gonna get the sprocket made. Um, hopefully that works, famous last words. But um, yeah, so, but it's all the brakes, everything will work, so I don't have to worry about that. It's just a gear ratio problem and then a mounting issue. And battery fits in the front here, no problems. Got plenty of space for that. I've just gotta make a really nice sturdy housing for my battery which i will show you a video of shortly or some photos of um i was going to make a really sturdy housing for that because obviously if a stick or something comes up underneath we don't want to pierce a lithium battery because it's a 48 volt lithium battery it's about three kilowatt hours so you know there's quite a lot of cells in it it's not a small battery um completely assembled including its bms the battery weighs about 20 kilos so yeah it's it's um need to make sure it's safe so but yeah everything's all here fantastic it's yeah just the mounting issues it's gonna take me a while to do this though so don't you know expect a, a speedy you know follow-up video saying it's done but um i'll get there eventually uh it's a spare time job and yeah looking forward to having this done it's gonna be a lot of fun so this is the complete electronics for the quad bike. Uh, everything's all here and working, which is great. Uh, apart from I did get a foot throttle because it was originally going to be a quad, a um, go-kart project, but now we're doing a quad bike. I'll have to get a thumb throttle for it. But we've got the um, custom-made uh, batteries uh, using 21700 cells. I think there's about 208 of them all up. We've got the easy control um, controller. We've got the three kilowatt brushless motor, which I'll be running at about 
uh, four and a half to five kilowatts, so running at about 5,000 watts. Uh, we've got the 200 amp BMS. And then the battery is all these balance leads into the BMS, so you can individually control and make sure that all the 13 banks of cells in this are in balance and safe, and it just keeps the health of the battery good. And um, yeah, so here's some pictures of the making of the battery. We've got the nickel strip was all properly uh, spot welded in place, not soldered. It's um, all properly specced. It's double layered and it's pure nickel strip. Um, it can handle a lot more amps than what I'm drawing from it. Um, so it's safe. It was then all properly housed and then wrapped in the cap and tape to um, seal it and then heat shrink around it just to make it all a little bit sturdy and safer and then the whole lot will go in a proper um, housing to make sure that nothing penetrates and damages it with the uh, BMS. The battery with the BMS weighs about 20 kilos all told so there is a bit of weight in the in the setup but she's got the grunt and the life the uh, battery's about three kilowatt hours so um, plenty of battery life as well so we can get out there and have a bit of fun without it going flat on us quickly which is great so here she is starting up So it should go pretty good. Looking forward to getting this project done.